We've talked about summer reading and Harry Heroes this morning. Now we're talking summer reading parties. Fox News with Abby Burke joins us live now in the newsroom with more. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, guys. Just when you thought reading couldn't get any more fun, it can, with summer reading parties at the Pikes Peak Library District going on all throughout town and all throughout summer. Here's more information on those programs and also the Harry Hero program, which is taking place this afternoon. We're here at the East Library. I'm here with Travis with the Pikes Peak Library District, and we are talking about summer reading. That's right. Summer reading still going on at Pikes Peak Library District. Uh, there's still summer reading parties going on. This Friday at East Library, where we're at, is our big summer reading party for, for this side of town. Uh, also next week, um, the Fountain Library down south is having their summer reading party, as well as up north, the uh, Monument and Palmer Lake parties are going on. So there's still time to get into your local library. Bring in your reading cards. Uh, this is the teen one. Uh, we also have the children's one. Uh, uh, get some books read, bring, bring them into the library, enjoy the parties, enjoy the performers we're going to have coming in, and, um, and get some prizes when, for, for reading and, and have your kids develop that I, level of literacy. I love prizes for reading. You know, <laughs> we used to do the book club when I was a kid, and I think we'd get pizza for reading, so this is exciting. Uh, why is it so important to get kids to continue reading throughout the summer and just to read in general? Um, well, we all know the importance of reading, but we also know that during the summer summertime, reading can slide off. Kids aren't doing homework. Kids aren't reading as much as they do during the school year. So summertime is a great time to get them into the library, um, get them in love with some books just that they love, that's not necessarily for an assignment or for anything like that. You know, um, it's just their own love of reading, and that's going to help them in everything else they do in life. So super important. And you guys have a beautiful facility here. It's, it's awesome. It's cozy. You've got great chairs. And you said that you're working on some renovations as well. That's right. If you haven't been into East Library in a while, or Penrose Library for that matter, it's worth coming in, um, checking it out, not just for summer reading, but walk around the building, check out some of the renovations that are going on. Uh, amazing stuff. We've got a maker space going in upstairs here at East Library. We have 40 new computers, uh, all new meeting rooms going around uh, the outside of the area upstairs. That area was all administration uh, built. Uh, areas before. Um, now it's open to the public for the first time, so um, same thing as having at Penrose. We're expanding our services in a lot of different buildings, so please come check it out. And it's always a good time to read, um, but we have been having a lot of rainy weather this summer, so there's really no excuse for for not reading at home, kids. You know, <laughs> when those rainy days, you can, you can have some fun curling up with a book and a blanket. That's right. We've got plenty at the library. So. Okay, so remind us what's going on today, this afternoon, with the Harry Heroes program. Um, today, Harry Heroes program is going on. You met some of the dogs uh, earlier that are going to be a part of that program. There will be others as well. Um, that's here at East Library from 3 to 4.30. Uh, we have six different agencies represented, uh, represented, and they're all heroes in their own way to the community. So come, out, come, I'll come on out and check it out. I'm going to totally put you on the spot here. What's your favorite book? My favorite book? I know. That's, that's really I, hard. I totally threw this one at you, and it's so unfair, and I'm really <laughs> sorry, because I couldn't answer it on the spot either. But do you have a, or a favorite hero book, since that's the theme for the favorite summer? Favorite hero book? Gosh. <laughs> um, I was an English major in school, so I have a lot of okay. books that I love. Um, yeah, I always, I always like Jack Kerouac's On the Road. That's a good one. Good adventure, summertime book. So All right. Well, that. check it out. Yeah. Check out the library. Come by today, 3 to 4.30. We'll see you there. That's a really hard question, but I'm going to have to add that book to my list. I've been kind of carrying a book around all summer, but haven't gotten very far reading it. So I want to know, guys, what's your favorite book? Oh, my Or gosh. who is your favorite Harry hero? There are so many. I don't actually know if I have a favorite book. I get into series, you know. Sure. Um, Twilight. I, tw I did read the Twilight Boo. series. No, Psych. I did. Hunger Games, now my daughter's maybe? reading them. So Favorite Harry, uh, Harry hero was the one that hung out with the Hendersons. <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, I read all the Berenstain Bear books as a kid. Uh -huh. Now, they're not, I mean, he's a fine, John Grisham, like when I hop on a flight. Oh, yeah. gosh. I know. It's a go to I'm kind of thing. I'm fully aware of what it brings to the table, but it's enjoyable. They're and entertaining. It passes the yeah. time. No judgment. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Me Talk Pretty One Day. That's the funniest book. Uh, uh, David Sedaris. Sedaris, Sedaris yeah. yeah. Oh. Fantastic book. That's the comedy funny. books. Okay. So, yeah. That All is right. a great book. You've inspired us with your literature. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole idea.